Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we're going to explore the role of U.S. Navy hospital ships. If you're curious on this topic, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. The United States Navy has a long history of military strength. Considering its numerous aircraft carriers, destroyers, and submarines, it's by far the world's largest and potentially most capable navy. But beyond those, and beyond all the cruisers and patrol boats and other combat ships, there's two more that lurk in the shadows of the 490 ship fleets. And they are the USNS Mercy and the USNS Comfort. These sister ships are the Navy's third largest vessels, behind the Nimitz-class and Ford-class aircraft carriers. Mercy began her life as a San Clemente-class oil tanker called SS Worth and was converted to a hospital ship in the mid-1980s. The Comfort is also a converted oil tanker, once known as the SS Rose City. To be specific, it can be seen that they're the size of cruise ships and comparable in capability to the largest land-based hospitals. Each holds 1,000 hospital beds, including 80 intensive care beds. In comparison, the entire state of Maine has 1,061 total and 64 ICU beds. Importantly, when nations came together to write the Geneva Conventions defining the rules of war, hospital ships were a significant focus. They specifically defined these as any that specifically and solely work to assist the wounded or sick, with the important distinction that they cannot carry any arms or ammunition. In addition, these ships also must be painted white with red crosses to identify themselves, but assuming these requirements are met, they're officially classified as a hospital ship. Under the Geneva Conventions, those with this categorization cannot be attacked or fired upon. This was all plenty useful at the time the Geneva Conventions were signed. However, land-based warfare is increasingly obsolete, and it just doesn't make sense to float a hospital to a conflict zone when field hospitals are more capable and medical evacuation is easily available. Moreover, the ships are in a reduced operating status in their home ports. Fewer than 75 crew members are aboard while the Mercy is at home in San Diego and the Comfort is docked at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. Once activated, the ships are usually ready to sail within five days, taking on a crew of about 60 civilian mariners and more than 1,200 military medical specialists. For the recent updates, the USNS Comfort and the USNS Mercy are rushing to complete their scheduled maintenance and board teams of medical personnel. Once outfitted, the Comfort will sail to New York Harbor, and the Mercy will head off to the Port of Los Angeles. Because their purpose is to heal wounded personnel, the ships are intended to specialize in trauma cases. For a variety of reasons, they're not designed to deal with an infectious disease outbreak. Because the ships are unable to isolate infected patients, they will only deploy to support non-COVID-19 cases. Talking about their service experiences, Comfort and Mercy have both performed a lot of action. Both of them were deployed in support of Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Mercy, which is based in the Pacific, deploys on a regular basis for training exercises and humanitarian disasters. Comfort has shown a lot more action in the past. It was first deployed in 1992 to support Operation Uphold Democracy, a U.S. military operation in Haiti, and again in 2003 to support the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq. Additionally, this will not be the first time the ships have deployed inside the United States. Back then, to the past, Comfort responded to the 9-11 attacks, deploying to New York City to assist hospitals there. It also sailed for New Orleans in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and to Puerto Rico following Hurricane Maria. Anyway, feel free to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss further in the next videos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.